When using Evernote on your mobile phone, speed is the most important thing. In this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'm going to show you the fastest way to get your ideas into Evernote. Hello and welcome to another episode of Working with Evernote. My name is Carl Pauline and in this week's episode I'm going to show you how to set up an action steps in drafts so that you can capture your notes so quickly into Evernote. Drafts is an amazing application and in a few weeks time I'm going to start doing a series on how to use drafts and how to set it up for you. Just taking a little bit longer for me to prepare that one. But that's coming soon. But I thought in this week's episode of Working with Evernote, I'd like to show you how you can set up your own action steps from drafts directly into Evernote. So I'm going to show you two ways of doing it. I'm going to show you a quick way of getting a note into your inbox. And I'm also going to show you a way of how to append or prepend to an existing note. Exciting episode for you this week. I hope you enjoyed. Let's go into Evernote. Oh, before I go into Evernote, I would just like to say if you do like this video, please click on that like button below. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please subscribe. Okay, now let's go into Evernote and I will show you how to set up drafts and Evernote together. Right, the first thing we are going to have to do with this is set up the note in Evernote because Evernote needs to give you the information in where to point drafts to send your idea. So the key information that you actually need is the notebook that you've actually stored the note in. So in this case, what I've done is I've stored it in my content notebook and you need the tag and the tag here is ideas at CPP. So I've got the tags in there. I've got the notebook in there. That's great. I've also got the title. You need the title as well. So blog post ideas. Now you're going to have to get the spelling right as well. So the capitalization, etc. all that has to be correct, but that's okay. We can do that in a moment. And then I've created, I've started the list, so that's okay. But you don't necessarily have to start the list. You can actually add things here. So this is my blog post ideas for future blog posts. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a ta a, an action step in drafts that's going to allow me to just quickly capture my ideas and throw them into Evernote. Okay, so let's go into drafts now and I will show you how to set up the action step. Okay, so what we're going to do now is we're going to open up drafts and I'll open it up here. Now when you open up drafts it starts off with a great idea. So you've got a wonderful setup here. You just get typing straight away and then you can send it wherever you want. Now if you have a look at the top of my keyboard there you've got a tick sign, the Evernote sign, a shopping basket sign. I can actually even use audio and audio is by the way is just fantastic. So essentially what I would like to do is let's just say I want to create a note and say this is just a test. This is a test. And I'm just corrected that one and I want to send that to Evernote. All I do is click on my Evernote icon here and boom, off it goes. I could also, this is another test. Now, I'm not going to go into too much detail in this particular episode on how to set up drafts. I've got a new series coming in the next week or two, which will go through all the basics that you need to know about drafts. But what I want to do is just show you how this why drafts is such a fantastic tool to have on your iOS device and this also by the way works on iPad if I wanted to and I don't have the what I want there I can actually tap on here and I have a number of options here so I can actually send it to another general note which I'm going to do it's actually the same as what I do in my keyboard now that's gone off onto my Evernote inbox and that is fantastic but the question we want to ask ourselves is how do we set this up well, the way to set this up is, or first off, is go into that top right hand corner where you've got the drafts icon and click on that. And down at the bottom right, you'll see the plus. So I'm going to hit plus and I say add new action. So I'm going to add a new action. I'm going to name this uh, blog posts, uh, post, z, and I'm going to add this to my. Um, so what we're going to do next is I want to create that as green. And I want to change the icon. Let's change the icon because you can change the icon to anything you want here. So I can go down here and I think I will find, hang on a minute, that's where I may have missed it, put the top there. 
Uh, no, so we're gonna. If you look here, we've got services. So I'm gonna click on the Evernote service, and let's go for blue. Oops, sorry. We can go for blue color there, so I can make the blue a uh, bit there. There we go. Right, and then what we can do is go into steps, and this is the key part. So no steps defined. So we hit on the plus up the top, and now I can go down here. So we're gonna look looking down here, and we're looking for Evernote. So I'm gonna hit on Evernote, and I need the note title. So we're going to add in the note title. So replace the time and the note title is blog post ideas. And that's there. Notebook is in content and it's capitalization. I, so I'm going to content and my tags. Oops, is ideas dash CPP. And that's all I have to do. Uh, but then as we go down here, you've got a number of options. So if you say, if you notice down here, it says write type. So we've got create, replace, prepend. So if you want it to come up at the top of the list or append. Now I'm gonna add append. So this is gonna append to the note and I'm gonna save and exit. Now what you'll notice is down at the bottom here, I've got my blog post. Now I've actually set this up. I'm gonna drag this up into my Evernote uh, set up there and that's it. So let's just say now is how to create fantastic uh, drafts, oops, drafts actions. Actions and if I hit on my drafts thing and I'm going to go for, where are we? Blog post, click that. That's now gonna go and send to that note. Now you don't believe me. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go back into Evernote on my computer and I will show you exactly how to do that. But before I do that, I should point out that uh, we, before you do that, you will need to go into draft settings. Uh, I just remembered that I should sh explain this to you and go down to your credentials. It, I, obviously it's not a logical name for it, but go to services, credentials, click on that and you will be able to add services from here. So in this particular case, I've got my Twitter, to do is an Evernote is actually set up in here. And there's quite a few other things that you can do. Um, you can do all sorts of things in here, but it's worth getting to know uh, to do uh, drafts and playing around with what you want to do with that. But that's something that you will need to do. Okay, let's go into my Evernote now and I will show you how it all looks. Okay, so now we're back in my Evernote and you will see that those two test notes that I created are in my Evernote now. Now, the thing that you will have noticed here is that the title of the note is the note that I wrote. So if once you know that, you can actually create new titles for it, obviously, when you set it up. But for me, it's, I don't care because this is going to my inbox and I will see the idea when I come into it. And the original one that I sent is also there. So everything is there that I wanted. But the key that I want to show you is from my content. So this was the blog post ideas. And sure enough, it has appended that note in here. Now, the reason why there's a space between uh, the previous one and this one is quite simply that I have actually I pressed return, therefore it's added the return in there. That doesn't really matter to me. And as I create more ideas throughout the day, I would actually just, it would not have that particular space in there. But there you go. That's how drafts work on uh, with Evernote. It is one of the most fantastic tools. It saves you so much time. And it also prevents me from forgetting ideas about that I may have collected. And also one of the best things about drafts for me is if I don't have time or I can't make up my mind where a note is going to go, I can leave it in my drafts inbox and that will then I can review that later in the day. Not only with drafts, you've also got drafts on your iPhone so you can actually quickly capture ideas oh, Sorry, on your Apple Watch. And even there, it's just one of the best third party apps on the Apple Watch. So much to talk about on drafts and I will be doing a brand new series in the next week or two on drafts so that you can see how drafts can really transform your life when you're using a mobile phone. Okay, well, thank you very much for watching this episode of Working with Evernote. It just remains for me now to wish you all a very, very productive week. 
thank you for watching this video. Now, if you want to take your productivity to a higher level, then get yourself enrolled in my 2019 edition of Your Digital Life 2.0 online. It is a complete, comprehensive productivity and time management course, and it's a course that will take you to levels of productivity you have only ever dreamt of before. It shows you how to build your very own COD system, collect, organize, and do. It shows you how to create the folder structure, how to build into your, your goals, into your daily to-do list. It has everything. And not only that, you will get a free copy of Your Digital Life 2.0, the book. You also get a free workbook and you get access to all the slides that are used in the course. It is incredible value. I want to see you in that course. If you are serious about becoming productivity, then please join me in Your Digital Life 2.0, the 2019 edition. Thank you very much for watching this video.